Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. My name is Gary and I'm coming to you from the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains here in East Tennessee. And today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023, and it is National Bavarian Crepe Day. I like a good crepe. I don't know if I ever had a Bavarian kind of crepe or if there is different kind of crepes out there. Uh, on a recent cruise Dad and I took, I took a class on how to make ice cream, and in that class we were taught how to make crepes, and they were good, and I had a lot of them. And I enjoy crepes, so I don't know if it was a Bavarian crepe or if there's another kind of crepe out there, but today is National Crepe Day, so let's eat crepes and enjoy the day. And by the way, what kind of filling do you like in your crepes? Let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to see. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter number 21, and it's verse number 21. Scripture says, He that followeth after righteousness and mercy find its life, righteousness, and honor. Now, if you're like me and spend a great deal of time on social media, you've obviously seen the follow button, whether it's in your Twitter or on your Instagram, on your Facebook page, Facebook groups, Facebook profile. Um, we see the button there that says follow. And what that means is that we're going to hit that button and we're going to see the post that that person or that, that group, that, that, um, whatever is, is going to put out. We want to see, we care enough about the person, about the, the group that we want to see what, what things they show, what, uh, content they put out. And people all the time, Christians all the time, church people all the time, tell me that I shouldn't do so much ministry work on Facebook because Facebook and the internet is evil. And, you know, if you look for the evil things in there, you're going to find the evil things in there. Sometimes you find it without even looking. But when we look at this verse, this verse gives us something to follow. And it's going to give you a whole lot better stuff than you're going to get off of most people's Facebook or Instagram feeds. Let's look at this verse again. He says, he that followeth after righteousness and mercy. I'm going to stop right there. So if we're, going to, we're supposed to follow something. To follow something means that we are, we are going along behind something. You know, let me put it this way. Maybe you have a friend or a family member who's coming to visit you and they've never been to your house before. And so you're going to meet them somewhere and you're going to drive them back to your house. They're going to follow you back to your house. They don't know how to get there, so they're going to follow you. That's the idea that we have here. As Christians, we should strive to be the best people that we can be, to be the people that God wants us to be. But we need to make sure we're following the right things to be able to get to where God wants us to be. And the writer of, of Proverbs 21 here tells us that we need to follow after righteousness and mercy. Righteousness is simply a purity or a conformity of your heart and life to divine law. It's a conformity to the laws of God. It's becoming like that. It's becoming it's becoming like who God wants us to be. You know, in, in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, you've heard me talk about this verse a lot of times because Paul tells us not to be conformed to the things of this world. But instead, we should be conformed to the laws of God, to the word of God. When we spend time reading the Bible each day, we need to be applying those things in our lives, therefore becoming like what we're reading. The Bible gives us the direction and the instructions that we have. Somebody one time years ago, I remember, they walked around 
Might have been at my church in Florida when I was still living in Florida. I don't remember exactly where it was, but they were walking around with the Bible as an acronym. And it meant basic instructions before leaving earth. And I thought that was kind of funny at the time. But as I grown up and thought about that, you know, there's a lot of truth behind that. Because the Bible gives us our instructions. It teaches us about God. It teaches us about the Spirit. It teaches us about Jesus. It teaches us about heaven and about hell and about the end times. And so that's what we need to be following. And we need to follow after that righteousness so we can start becoming the person that God wants us to be. And then the writer says we need to follow after mercy. Mercy relates to forgiveness or withholding punishment. Mercy, God's mercy on us. On us. God is withholding punishment on us out of his great mercy. And we need to chase after that. We need to be sharing mercy to others. There's a parable in the in the New Testament that Jesus tells, and I didn't pull it up beforehand to give you the exact scripture reference, but it tells of a guy who, who owed somebody else a, uh, a great sum of money. He was in debt to that person. And one day this 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 guy was settling his accounts and he called the man before him and demanded payment for the money that he was owed and the person begged for mercy and begged for grace and and asked for more time and and the debtor there he he had mercy on this man and left him go and that man subsequently went out and found somebody that owed him a dollar or two and had him thrown into prison until he could pay that dollar or two back he didn't show mercy on that on his fellow person which in turn, when the original guy found out what happened, he became infuriated and had that man thrown into prison until he could pay back his entire debt to him. So you see, if mercy is shown towards us, which it is because God has, has mercy for us, then we need to in turn share that mercy with somebody else to show that mercy to somebody else. And we need to be growing in that way. He says, rest of verse 21 says, if we're following these things, if we're following righteousness and we're following mercy, we're going to find three things. We're going to find life. We're going to find eternal life because we're going to be more in pattern of who God wants us to be. We're following Jesus. We gave our life to him. And we have our spot there in heaven. But even more than that, by following after mercy and following after righteousness, we're going to find life as it relates to our eternal life, but we're going to live our best life that we can while we're here on earth because we're in line with God's will and God's desire for our life. Then he says we're going to also find righteousness. If we're searching for righteousness, we're going to find righteousness. And as we're growing and becoming who God wants us to be, we'll be getting more righteous and more righteous. I hope that made sense. And then he says, and honor, and honor. One day we're going to stand before God and we're going to give him the crowns that we had earned for the life that we had lived. I don't think that's the exact illustration I needed to use for that one. But we'll receive honor because we are following God and following Jesus and becoming who he wants us to be. Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Friends, do you hunger and thirst for righteousness? Are you following after righteousness and mercy? Those are things that we need to be chasing after, and those are things that we need to make sure is present in our life. Are they found in your life today? Think about that as you go through this day, and remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you, and then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Dad, can I? 
stay home from school today? Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay, you can stay home from school today. Really? Can I stay home from school tomorrow too? Well, sure, if that's what you want. Wow. Uh, can I have ice cream for dinner tonight? Mm, hang on. Hun, is it okay if Ellen has ice cream for dinner tonight? Ice cream for dinner and no vegetables? No vegetables? Ew, no. No vegetables. Okay, if that's what Ellen wants, it's ice cream for dinner tonight. Yay, can we go to Disneyland tomorrow? What a great idea, Ellen. Let's go out and load the car right now. Can I drive? Anything you want, you can have. You're the best parent in the whole world. Sometimes God shows his love for us by not giving us the things we ask for. God loves us even when he says no. We can trust the answers that he gives. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. 